Hey everyone, here's a recap of the mid-journey office hours from July 3rd. It'll be a little shorter today, but I also have a channel update for you. David said they're moving the website toward an open launch with new onboarding for the personalization feature. They're also going to rearrange the rooms again and try to synchronize them with Discord. That could be interesting, I don't know how it's possible, but again that would be cool. And he said they might consolidate some rooms into smaller rooms, like collapsing all the super user rooms into just one room. Something like that. Then he talked a bit about version 6.5 and how they might break it up into two releases. Because the two algorithm improvements are clashing with each other. So the first release would be all about pixel quality, then they would collect user ratings and feedback, and the second update would be more about coherence, like hands and text. He said they might even be called 6.1 and 6.2. They're trying to get it out sooner than later, but the training runs are excruciatingly slow, to quote him. He talked a little bit about how one of the reasons no AI images look perfect is because it is a huge pain. Not that it's necessarily impossible. David said it might teach them not to be incremental and go for more major updates. He once again encouraged people to try out personalization, saying that a lot of people still haven't used it. And they are moving toward a personalization versioning system where they can update it without breaking your old codes. He mentioned again changing the explore page to favor our personalization, and I have to say again I hope they do not do that. But he did say that it would be like a for you page and that it would be an option, so that's definitely okay. He also acknowledged that generating by demographic could be a little controversial, but he thinks we should explore our biases rather than hide them. And he said it should be easy to implement, so maybe we could see it after a couple of days of work. Quickly, he mentioned version 7 is moving along, 3D is moving along, and video is moving the slowest because they feel conflicted. He doesn't like the look of the other video models out there right now, and he doesn't want to release another bad model to the list. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It's your subject, Surreal Stripes Concept by Dali, in conjunction with Magritte. I use Style Raw, as well as Stylize 100, 250, and 400. I'll post some links to those artists in the description. And then there are a couple things I have to tell you about the channel. If you saw my most recent video, I think you'll notice that I hired an editor after all this time, finally, so I am excited about the future. Not this week, but next Friday, I think my dream video schedule should take effect, which will look something like how I started this channel, with two or three videos per week in addition to the office hours recap. Something like Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I've got a couple of series I'm working on. I'm just super excited to have a lot of content planned. And I am taking a different approach to the advanced mid-journey course I'm working on. Rather than waiting to finish each lesson and then packaging it all together, I'm going to split up each unit into its own individual course. I am doing this because it will let me focus and maximize the amount of info in each topic but it will also let you pick and choose which subjects are the most interesting to you, and I'll put them together in a bundle when they are all ready. The first course will be all about color theory and application, and it should be available in like 10 days from now, maybe, something like that. My goal is to then release one or two of these mini courses per month. I just wanted to let you know I'm hard at work, and I can't wait to keep exploring this future together. There's your recap of the Mid Journey Office Hours. I hope you're doing well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.